kids, do you remember last week? I hope you saw the video because we're going to learn about the greatest Christmas story ever. And we wouldn't even have Christmas if it weren't for this story. Can you imagine that? So I hope you packed your bags because we got a very, very long trip. And we're going to have a reporter and she's going to talk to some very interesting people so we can learn more about this Christmas story. So are you ready? Let's see what happens. And then meet me back here after you're done listening to what our reporter finds out. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was in the house and lineage of David. Reporting live on the road to Bethlehem, this is Heather Barker reporting on the taxes going to Bethlehem. There's some travelers, let's go see what they're doing. Hi friends, what are you guys up to? Going to Bethlehem. Huh? What are you guys' names? Mary and Joseph. Joseph and our little donkey Jude. Ah, Jude, nice to meet you all. So what are you guys going to Bethlehem for? To pay our taxes. Have you seen anything interesting or cool on your way? Um, we saw a few snakes and a few nests. Oh, wow. Wow, but so you've seen lots of nature on your way to there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You look a little tired. How long has your journey been? Very, very long from Jerusalem. Oh, all the way from Jerusalem. Well, thanks for letting me talk to you guys. Well, there you have it, folks. We have a couple of tired Mary and Joseph reporting live from the road to Bethlehem. I'm going to follow this story, so I hope you follow along with us. Did you see Mary and Joseph and their little donkey? Wow, that was so much fun. And Heather asked some really good questions, our reporter, so we're going to find out more next week. But for this whole week, guess what? I have a scripture I want to see if you can memorize. And if you can, maybe your parents can post it on Facebook. It's from Isaiah 60, verse 1. Are you ready? It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is upon you. Let's do it one more time. You ready? Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is upon you. Isn't that a wonderful scripture that God is shining on us each day? So you try to memorize it, and then we will see you next week to see more of our story. Bye-bye, kids.